Do you want to learn how to use a sword? In this video, I'll teach you some spinning techniques that can be used for performances, demonstration, or merely for fun. Grab any sword, be it a straight sword or a broadsword or any kind, and let's do some sword spinning fun. First of all, I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. And in some of my videos, I've received some requests and comments to do a wushu sword tutorial. And here it is! Chinese martial arts have been using several weapons from the ancient times until the modern times. The use of weapons such as in Chinese martial arts is renowned in wushu, particularly in the Taodo discipline. The Wushu sword is a narrow, double-edged sword with an extremely thin, flexible blades that usually makes noise when shaken, intended to add some visual and auditory appeal to a Wushu performance. Today, I'm going to share with you three basic Wushu sword spinning techniques. A weapon like the sword is designed to be an extension of our arms, and you'll notice that we'll go through a lot of efficient natural movements. With all our spinning techniques, we focus more on our wrists, because the turning of our wrists will set the direction of our spins. Okay, so for our very first technique, we have the vertical spin or figure eight. Raise your arm up to shoulder level, then imagine that you are drawing a big vertical circle in front of you. From the starting position, you turn the wrist. Imagine that this is a doorknob. You're locking your door like this. You turn the wrist downwards towards you. Then you release the three fingers. Continue the spin. Then back to the starting position. So for our direction, we are going to use the clock as our reference. From the starting position, three o'clock to my right, now turn the wrist downward, 6 o'clock pointing down to the floor, and then 9 o'clock pointing to my left, then 12 o'clock pointing up to the ceiling, then 3 o'clock going back to the starting position. For the back view, starting position, 3 o'clock to my right, as I turn my wrist downward, 6 o'clock, down to the floor, then pointing 9 o'clock to my left, then 12 o'clock, pointing up to the ceiling, and going back to the starting position. You may notice that as I turn my wrist downward, I release the three fingers. But make sure that you have a proper grip so that the sword won't slip from your hand. Now from the starting position, up to here, you are already halfway done for the figure 8 spinning technique. The other half is this. From the starting position, you turn the wrist downward, then draw a big vertical circle behind you. For the direction, we are going to use the clock as our reference. Starting position, 3 o'clock to my right. And then 6 o'clock, pointing down to the floor. 9 o'clock, pointing to my left. Then 12 o'clock, pointing up to the ceiling. Then to the starting position. Make sure that the blade pass nice and smooth in front and behind you. Keep all your spins as close as possible to your body 
So to make sure that you're doing an accurate vertical spin, imagine that there's a wall beside you, side by side, that you cannot hit. Because if you do hit that, the sword will be everywhere and the movement will look sloppy, uncoordinated, and awkward. And because of that, you'll be more prone to accidents like hitting someone or cutting yourself. As you do your figure eight spin, keep your elbow straight. Or if you're having a hard time doing it, you can actually slightly bend it this way, but not too much like this. Next, we have the horizontal spin. You spin right above your head. So from the starting position, raise your sword up to your head level. Then turn your wrist to the left. Okay, make sure that the blade is flat. Then spin it continuously in a full circle, horizontally. Then drop to the waist level. For the direction, we are going to use the clock as our reference, but this time, the clock is positioned horizontally. Now, from the starting position, you raise your sword up to your head level, the 6 o'clock. Now, turn your wrist to the left. The blade is flat, right? Now, this is your 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, then down to the waist level. And for the back view of the horizontal spin, this is how it looks like. Starting position. Raise your sword above your head, then spin. And lastly, we have the reverse horizontal spin. This is the same as doing the horizontal spin only in the reverse. So from here, you raise your sword above head level, then turn your wrist to the right horizontally in a full circle, and then to the starting position. In here, we are also going to use the clock as a reference for direction. From here, Starting position, 9 o'clock, turn your wrist and body, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and to the starting position. And for the back view of reverse horizontal spin, this is how it looks like. From here, raise your sword up to head level and spin. And going back to the starting position. So when we are doing the horizontal spin and reverse horizontal spin, we always use our waist. So from the starting position, I use my waist to do the horizontal spin to the left. And to unwind, to go back, same thing, waist, waist. techniques and be ready for our next lesson always remember safety when practicing and do not just go around spinning your swords because you might hit some people or some valuable objects so did you like this video would you like more videos like this 
share your thoughts in the comment section. Or if you have any suggestions or requests for my next videos, let me know in the comment section because I definitely read them. Who knows, maybe next time I'll do a video based on your requests. Just like this one. 希望你们喜欢这个视频,不要忘记敲响大拇指和中型图标,点赞并分享这个视频,欢迎订阅更多。don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the bell icon, like and share this video, subscribe for more. 欢迎收看,